What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back, and guys, we're back with another video. Face cam's a little off. Sorry for the bed in the back. I didn't make it. I'm a lazy mess. But yeah, I just woke up at 2 Eastern because I went to bed at 5 yesterday. Had a long night, and I'm, pre I'm pretty sure I'm going to stream today. So yeah, guys, stay tuned for the stream tonight, and as well as, what's it called? We'll be streaming on Twitch. If you guys don't know my Twitch, it's your boy Bug 16 It's in the description every single day. So go check that out. F drop the follow. We'll be streaming on there later, not YouTube. So make sure you guys know that. Also, as per usual, drop 10K in the comments. Let's get this video to 85 likes for a chance of winning 10K. Just drop 10K in the comments or whatever. You could drop 1K because we're making our way closer to 1K. We're 80 subs away from 1K. Thank you guys once again. The support has been real. And as per usual, Sunday, we just post a little market overview vid going over the market, what's going down, who went up, who went down, all that good stuff. So yeah, guys, be sure to drop those likes to get 10K. And let's get into it. Your boy Buck 16 is a Twitch. Go follow the Twitter. Go follow the IG. Help your boy out. All right, let's get into the auction. So as you can see, I'm broke. And I'm just going to show you why. I've made like freaking 30 investments and I'm broke. I had like 300K and yeah. So we bought two Altuve's. We bought two Machados. We bought two buy three buyers, two Chris Bryant's. We have a bunch of, we have one Martinez, a bunch of Rizzo's, a bunch of Chapman's, a bunch of gold investments. We are currently broke and i'm just waiting till about what probably tuesday because i'm gonna tell you why so altuve i got him for 24k jose altuve is at 30k now so right there i'm making a ton of stubs i'm waiting for him to go up so he's at 30k i'm gonna make about 4k off each after the reduction uh i'm gonna try to wait till he goes to 30 maybe 35k make a ton of stubs okay so i got machado for around 43k i'm not gonna be making a ton of stubs off him i'm actually gonna be losing stubs right now i will be waiting on machado for probably i would say like tuesday wednesday just because man machado is way too cheap right now he always is like 50k i got him for like 43 i'm not gonna make stubs off him i'm actually gonna lose stubs so i'm just waiting for his price to go up and Baez. Okay, so guys, if you are watching this, I would go pick up Baez because his edge is down, meaning his price is way down, and I think he should be at least 40k. So Baez is a good pickup. Also, in this market overview, I just want to go over Matt Chab and Rizzo. People were saying they're going to go up, and I honestly agree with them. A lot of my subs are saying they should go up after the roster update, and as you can see, Chapman did not. Rizzo did. Rizzo went up about a K. Matt Chapman is literally about the same. Does I think he still goes up. I would give it a couple days. Just think about it. Think about how many kids posted investments on Matt Chapman. Think about that for one second. About literally almost every single baseball MLB player bought Matt Chapman as investments. So it's just flooded right now. He just turned diamond. Mad people are posting him. You gotta have to wait on him. And we got JD Martinez. I bought JD Martinez for 17k. He's at 21. I say he goes to 24 and I'll sell him. But yeah, I'm just patiently waiting to make my stubs. Possibly tomorrow we'll do an aftermath of the market crash. Probably made over 50k already on this one. I could just tell. And also, guys, right now is the time to pick up Okuna Jr. He's one away from Diamond. 4,500 stubs. Highly recommended. My freaking phone's getting spammed. We have to mute it. I'm sorry. Hold up. Okay, so we got Okuna at 45. Best time to invest in Okuna. Market overview. He was 7k and I literally said he would go down to 5. I was completely correct. I highly recommend you go get him. But let's keep going. We got Okay, so a bunch of another investment. So I heard I was looking at Trevor Story's price. He was at 5k for the update. Like I said, his demand will be high and Trevor Story's at 4k now. He, yesterday he was at 25, now he's at 4. If you guys picked up a ton like I did, you made a K stubs off each or lit, you're going to make 20k if you pick up 20 like me. So that's lit right there. I mean, <coughs> 20 get of him. <coughs> Kirby Yates went up a lot. He was quick sell value. Now he's at 2K stubs. <coughs> Two away from a diamond. Does he go diamond this year? Mm, yeah, he goes diamond this year. Almost guaranteed. So Andrew Miller goes gold. <sighs> now it is time to complete. Like, just go do the Cardinals collection. You're going to get that Cardinals collection done for stupid cheap, probably around 25K. About 30, 25K. That was a hard collection to do because Andrew Miller was around 30K the whole year. He's at 7K now. Does he keep going down? Yeah, I think so. And his edge is down, so that's lit. Also, another time. Go pick up Bauer. Only a matter of time before Bauer heats up again. He's still getting his strikeouts. He's just giving up garbage home runs and garbage earned runs. You know how Trevor Bauer pitches. He's a high strikeout rate pitcher. If he goes diamond, he's literally going to be a usable card with nasty strikeout pitches. He has a cutter, changeup slider, knuckle curve, and a fastball that has heat. 
So he's a strikeout pitcher. Literally, you guys need to just pray he goes diamond. He needs to pitch some gems. He will go diamond. He needs to pitch like two more gems in a row and he'll be good. Okay, so right now, Carlos Correa is injured. I honestly think he's a pretty good investment. Like he's injured. He's at quick sell value. He's at 83 overall. I really think he could easily go diamond. He was playing amazing until he got injured. He's an 82. A good time to invest in my man Correa. Uh, I just highly recommend it. Brad Hand at a thousand. Still disrespected heavy. Brad Hand is a top closer. He's 15 for 15 saves. He has really good strikeout rates. He needs to go up in overall again. Brad Hand is a must pick up for me. And I just want to look at Hunter Dozier. Hunter Dozier is currently injured day to day. He did amazing last week. He was batting like four something. He's batting three something on the season, like 312 or 320 on the season with like 11 niggers. At his price at 164 is not a good price. Never buy the card. If you want to buy Dozier and keep it safe, the all stars year, just go 92 stubs, place it. I have 35, about to have 36. It's a good move. I highly recommend you get him. I want to take a look at Vogelback. Big fan of him all season. He is bombs. 123 stubs. He's still only a 70 overall. This is a good time to invest in him. Highly recommend it. He did not go up in value that much. But yeah, as you can see, a lot of players started going up. Josh Bell went up more. At the update, he was literally 1K exactly. Now he's at 1,400 stubs. So as you can see, everybody's starting to go up slowly, especially the investments. Uh, Let's see. What else we got? Ha okay, Rue. I literally think Rue might go diamond. I have to pick him up. He's such, he's a, he's an ace right now. He's literally an ace. I just don't know what to say. The Dodgers are disgustingly filthy. They're so good. Freaking Rue, Ryu, Rue. I don't care. He's just an ace. I highly recommend you get him. And let's just look at some diamonds. So Yelich went off again yesterday. I just want to check his price. See what happened with his price. He probably went up a ton. Yeah. Yelich is at 50K. He's at 56K. A lot of the diamonds did go up a lot. Uh, Mookie Betts went up about 10k. He was 70k like two days ago. Chris Sale went up a little bit. He was 40 something yesterday, 42ish, 44. He went up. A bunch of diamonds went up. For some reason, the only diamond that did not go up a lot is Machado. Uh, Machado went up about 2k. I heard some, a lot of my subs said he got him for 39k yesterday. He's still at the same price, but his buy now did go up to 44. So yeah, Machado did go up a tiny bit. I think I already talked about him though. DeGrom went down a lot. Damn, DeGrom's been getting lit up, but he pitched pretty good yesterday. Uh, 26K, not a bad investment. It's Jacob DeGrom. He's just a stud, but like he hasn't been playing that well. Austin Riley did go up from yesterday. He was at 30K by, uh, by now. Now he's at 37K. You could literally make some stubs off that. I know a lot of my subs did get him. I tried getting him. I failed. I got an overcut and I got offline. So that's what happened there. But yeah, guys, so for the market overview, Bregman did go, Bregman went up a little bit. Freeman went up a little bit. They all got upgraded. Bellinger is at 23K. If you guys invested in gold Bellinger in the beginning of the season and you have him now, if you invested 10, you literally make 20K stubs off each clean. 20K stubs, if you have 10, bro, you literally made 200,000 stubs clean off 10 Bellingers for like 2 to 1K. So. Congrats to you. I sold mine when they're at 13k. <sighs> His stats are very good. I just don't like Bellinger. I'm not a fan. His arm strength must be good though. His arm strength's an 84. Okay, yeah. This card's very well put together. The village vision's not the best. I just don't think he's just the best card. But yeah, guys, so let's see. Any others? Oh, okay. Josh Hader went up a lot. He must be playing very well. I have a couple of him. I think I have one or two. Let's see. Do I have one? I have two. Okay. So I did pick up Josh Hader and I got him for 20 something K. How is he doing? He's pitching two innings pitched. So he just, he's really like, is he even a closer? Saves. Yo. Okay. So he got like two saves over the last week. He's pitching just amazing. He's just a top player, man. He's so good. He's, he's literally one of the, he is the best closer in the league. Probably one of the best closer in the league. Top three, in my opinion, Hater, uh, Hand right now, and Yates are the top three in this league. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have Hatter, I will go ahead and sell him. I'm selling him right now. 34K is way, way too expensive. So, yeah, they will be leaving. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to make stubs, just listen to, my, just listen to me. I know what I'm doing. And that's all I got for you guys. Peace out. Sorry for the late post. Peace. Hey, yo,